I am going to show you today how that raw chicken I have right here has protein contaminants in it. I'm going to smear it on my cutting board right here and I'm going to show you how the 2.5 can clean this. I have what is called protein contaminant swabs here and I'm going to take one and I'm going to swab it around and I don't know if you can see it but it shows green through purple colors and the green is good the purple is bad it means there's contaminants there and then we're going to put it back into our container and we're going to bend it so that we can break open our solution to test it and then we're going to shake it and see I don't know if you can see that or not but it didn't take it very long at all to turn purple I was supposed to shake it 10 seconds I didn't even shake it 10 seconds so we know that we've got contaminants there so now I'm going to take some of our strong kongan acid water the 2.5 and I am going to spray this on there. And I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute so that it can make sure and pull all of those contaminants out and kill all of that bad bacteria. The 2.5 is known to kill Salmonella, E. coli, MRSA, it's used in some of the hospitals as a sterilization. So it's a very strong, but you can spray it on your hands, your arms, anywhere. You can even use this as a mouthwash and a gargle and it won't hurt you like other cleaners you may use to clean surfaces. So now I'm going to show you that I have just a regular terry cloth washcloth and I'm going to use it to wipe up the 2.5 off of my cutting board so that we can see. And then I've got another swab here that I have not used. It's brand new. And I'm going to take it and we're going to show you how that the 2.5 can clean. So let's make sure and clean all of this off just as good as we can. Wipe it really well. You can use this 2.5 on your counters, in your showers, you can use it anywhere and it won't hurt your family. It won't hurt you. It, it's actually good for a variety of funguses and diseases and such. So I think we've got this cleaned off just about as good as we can get it. So now I'm going to take my other swab and I'm going to open it. Should probably let that dry for just a, just a moment, just in case. So we'll fan it just a little bit, just to make sure that there's nothing left there. And now I'm going to take my swab. And then we're going to see how well the 2.5 cleaned that off. And again, I've got to break the solution. And then squeeze it. And there you go. It's already turning green. I'm supposed to shake it five to 10 seconds, but I didn't even have to shake it. And we're in the pass, which is the green. Thanks.